guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video welcome to a brand new month it is july i hope you're all having a lovely start to the month so far and hope you enjoyed june as some of you guys may know i've kind of introduced this kind of like monthly introduction vlog the start of every month whereby i have a bit of a reset a bit of an organize of some kind a bit of like a home vlog um, and also I'll share with you some monthly favorites as well towards the end of this video So I hope you guys are set and ready for today's vlog Make sure you grab yourself a nice cozy drink I had a nice coffee this morning on our walk Tom actually joined us because quite often Tom will go off to work in the morning It's just me and Barney on a morning walk But um, he was around, he has gone off to work now But yeah, we got up bright and early, went to Costa had a nice long walk and uh, got back showered, got ready for the day and yeah. I do actually have a lot of filming to do today so I need to kind of get organised with that first and then on my agenda for today is probably just going to be um, a little bit of organisation, mostly to do with like my wardrobe. If I just kind of show you in here. I have quite a few bits that I feel like I'm going to whittle down and do a bit of a charity charity drop we've got a place near us that just accepts bags full of bags of clothes for charity so yeah i might gather up a couple of bags worth of clothes i might at some point pop out to home sense tk maxx today you may have noticed on a recent tiktok and reel that i spotted some halloween bits in store so i'm gonna go have a browse and then of course anything that i do pick up i will of course share with you i do have a couple of things that i have bought from the other day when i went so i'll leave them to one side show you those in a bit as well probably start with a bit of organization i'm just wearing comfies today i've got my anine bing t-shirt on this um jumper it's quite an old jumper from primark and some lululemon leggings that i need to limp roll because yeah barney's shedding at the minute <laughs> i know he's a golden retriever and he tends to shed a lot anyway but there's definitely seasonal sheds with the golden retriever where I notice it far more. And I guess it's to do with like summer coat, winter coat. Mind you, I don't feel like we've had much of a summer, especially at home since we're getting Halloween bits in. I mean, it is early. Don't get me wrong, it is early. But it is my favorite time of the year. Probably won't be buying too much of that kind of stuff yet, but it gets me excited for what's to come anyway, nonetheless. So one thing I've definitely realised I need to do is at some point go through all of my leggings because this is far too many leggings for one person to ever need. There's a lot of like, it's not just leggings, there's a lot of like loungewear bottoms as well and like softer rib leggings that I would only really wear around the house. There is definitely a difference between like workout leggings in here, everyday kind of leggings, like my faves like Lululemon. Um, actually these ones are quite nice I'll show you because I always bang on about Lululemon however these are lovely these are from I need to find the exact style actually so that if they do more of them I can find them but they're from Abercrombie and Fitch but they're just so soft and so comfortable um, and I've got a couple of pairs from Oisho as well that I quite like but nothing compares to my Lulus honestly they're by far the best the Align ones if you're interested these are them these are them I can already spot them out 
without even needing to know. Tell their Lulus as well. Like they're black leggings and I already know that they're my Lulus. That's just how much I like them. Uh, but yeah, far too many leggings for one person to own. So I'm going to have a real whittle down of these and decide which ones I want to keep. And then I also might store them in my kind of gym drawer because there's loads more storage space in there, which just allows for this section to be a bit more free with my kind of bottoms. There's shorts here, jeans here, smart trousers here, joggers here. Um, lounge sets here in fact all of those yeah are like kind of lounge sets and bottoms as well so yeah that is what that section is now currently looking like I'm already feeling like I need a break <laughs> I'm not gonna lie although what you haven't seen is that I've already been doing some filming this morning already so I think it's about time to head out to the shops go grab some food um I grab some food yeah I might grab some food as well whilst I'm out and pop into home sense just refresh my refresh my mind and have a little browse in the shops. I feel like it's honestly, there's a reason why people call it retail therapy. For me, it's my form of therapy. And we'll come back to the leggings later. I might even do them another day to be honest with you and try, do all the try on bits. I'm gonna show you my um, drawer in our spare room. Cause I'm pretty happy with this to be honest with you. This is my gym drawer. This is the area that I'm saying there's more space for, um, for leggings. These are like tops, leggings and shorts. Most of these are actually like cycle shorts or capri style, a couple of long long ones. Sports bras, um, I could actually, I might get rid of that. Other than that, I don't actually think there's anything I'm gonna get rid of in there. This is my pajama drawer. I've got long pajamas there, long but lightweight pajamas here, short pajamas here, dressing gowns here. And then if I see what my other wardrobes are looking like, this is actually where I want to, oh, this is so nice. You come in here, look what I've got burning. This is my spa fireside. I've also got the candle lit as well in here. That is pretty much on its dying legs, that candle, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this just honestly smells so, so good. As I was saying, this is gonna be a run of wardrobes, I think, in future. I'm gonna see, um, I might go to Ikea, maybe, maybe for my next video, actually. I might vlog it. But um, my intention is to maybe do like an L-shaped, like, corner run of uh wardrobes mind you it's only going to be able to go up to the, like ideally keep that socket free so maybe up until the socket and just have it as a kind of corner wardrobe and then obviously i've got this wardrobe over here which just fits perfectly snug in this space already let's see how this wardrobe is currently looking it's not too bad i've got maybe a couple of hoodies that i'm going to bag up and get rid of and how many, what, one leather jacket? Yeah, one leather jacket, one leather blazer is that? Am I ever gonna wear this leather blazer? I got it from Misguided so long ago, still got the label on. I'm gonna have to get rid of it, aren't I? I've clearly not worn it for a reason. And then I could maybe do with getting rid of a couple of t-shirts, although I do love a good basic tee. I feel like the ones that are a little bit older maybe and just kind of lost its fresh, crisp white t-shirt feeling, I'll get rid of. I'm just gonna switch out these handles, uh, handles, hangers as well. I don't like any mismatch. I just like the black velvet ones. So I've actually not got too much to get rid of, you know? I thought I had loads more. I think it's because I'm getting to the point where I need to bring up some more clothes from storage that I've had kept in storage for so long now that I would like more wardrobe space because they're looking full as they are. So I need to like make room for stuff, but actually there's not that much to get rid of. So I just need to create more space to house more clothes. That's more likely the agenda. So maybe we'll do an Ikea trip next video. So I'm already, I'm just planning whilst filming. <laughs> but anyway, let's stick with this vlog for now. Let's head over to Home Sense. Let's have a bit of a breather and I'll see you guys when I get home. I'm back home, I'm just gonna do a bit 
of organizing with these leggings and then I'm going to share with you I did end up picking up quite a few things from home sets and TK Maxx so yeah bit of organization first now that I'm back um, oh, I did also go to Costa, had myself a nice lunch. You know, the M&S food that they do there now, the sausage roll, so good. Have it heated as well, delicious. And then I actually had one of those, you know, if you've got the Costa app, you can get the rewards. It's actually quite a good reward app. Of all the apps that I've got, Costa, I think it's every eight drinks, you get a free one so if like me and tom like for instance this morning go that's two stamps it's not even just like per transaction it's per drink so you soon end up getting your free drink but anyway i had a free frappe offer yeah it was delicious so i'm feeling all full up raring to go back to it so let's get some organization done i say that but i'm procrastinating by talking to you guys Sometimes I'll have um, some leggings, like these ones in particular, H&M these ones were, but they tend to bobble. These ones are like a charcoal colour, so it's quite obvious as well when they bobble. So I do like to just go in with this little lint remover. You can see there, there's some already in there. I got this one from Amazon. I believe it's a minky one, but um, Home Bargains do cheaper ones at 2 dollars I don't know how well they work, but this one works really well. So I'll leave this one linked if you are interested. I'll just show you like a before and after as well so that you can see how it works. Just, obviously that just that one little patch that I've just done there. There's now no lint, so I just need to go any other bobbles that there are. I'll just run over it and um, do that with any others that I come across as well. But these ones are a nightmare for it to be fair. I just really like how comfy they are though, so I don't want to get rid of them. So far I've managed to get a pile of clothes for charity. I've also whittled down these to my absolute yes, definite keeps. And then this I'm gonna be really ruthless with and try on all of these leggings. And if I'm unsure or if I think I won't reach for them, getting rid. So majority of those are probably add to the charity pile as well. Oh, okay, I was just about to go and show you some home sets bits and my battery's flashing. So let's switch it up, grab a new one. BRB. <laughs> and just like that we're back we are back in the room it's actually brightened up a bit now although it is forecast to rain later this weather i feel at this rate i just want to say not only this weather but this year this summer this spring i feel like we bypassed spring um although we haven't really had much of summer either so anyway move you down a sec because if I sit on my knees I end up getting pins and needles. The first thing I've got in a beauty section or the the beauty section precision beauty wooden nail brushes it's a pack of two so I thought I could put one of these in each of the bathrooms. I do have one I think it's downstairs in the kitchen at the minute but these I'll just pop straight in the bathrooms upstairs. So $4.99 for the pack of two. Popped into boots to grab the hay fever stuff because if you know you know. I just got some eye drops because my eyes have been really bad this year tom gets really bad sniffles he's just constantly sniffing throughout the whole of summer spring summer it's just and i'm like shut up <laughs> blow your nose but it'll blow his nose and i'll be doing it again in a second for me although i don't class myself as someone who gets hay fever actually i do i just don't get it in that sense i get really dry itchy eyes and as a contact lens wearer already that's not ideal so um, I even was that desperate with them. I popped them on in the popped them in my eyes in the car because I was like, oh, I just can't stop itching my eyes. I picked up this little gift card, hat gift card, gift bag. How nice is this? I just thought this reminded me of something like Chanel. It's very, you know, that illustration drawing, line drawing. One pound twenty nine. I did get some candles. I got three candles actually. I did stock up. They did have some of the pumpkin spice, not pumpkin spice. They had like apple cider pumpkin chai 
they're starting to get the pumpkin stuff guys uh, but for now I just stuck with some summery scents so I got this one in olive and lemon how nice does that sound it's the sand and fog one of the sand and fog ones my um fireside is near enough out so I might switch that and pop this one in here because obviously I've got a lot of black accents in here and this smells lovely nice and light $8.99 that one was and then I also got this to be honest with you I see this brand in here all the time P.S. I like the fact that they've tissue wrapped them all for me. Um, I see this brand in here all the time because I like the aesthetic of it. I like the look of it. And they do smell lovely too. But how nice does that look as a candle, like sat out, even without the wooden lid? Take the TK Maxx label off, which will take me 20 hours, as you guys know. Although this one's got one of the watermarks on, so it should be fairly easy to get off just with a bit of water. But yeah, there was a couple of scents that they had. I went for the Blood Orange Vetiver just because of the two. They were the ones, this one was the one that oh, I like the scent of. Again, nice and fresh and citrusy. It is actually from DW Home. If you're sticking with candles, I've got to show you the Pierre de la Resistance because TK Maxx and Home Sets now have Soho House candles. I can't believe they have Soho House in Home Sense. It's like the day that I find White Company in there will just be the best day ever. Soho House not far off. They are like the they've got in fact they've got an outlet, haven't they? At Vista, is it Vista? There's an outlet. I need to go. I need to go. This is in the Scent Pine, which is probably uh, in fact. Oh god, it's so good. One of my favourite scents, if not my favourite scent. I do tend to keep it more for like winter and autumn and. Christmas time with it being pine, but having said that, it's gorgeous. It's nice and fresh. This one comes in, so that's the scent on the bottom of the box. So they had different scents and they had different uh, marble options. So it's a fully, it's rocker marble in the large candle. So it's solid. This candle is heavy. That's the little lid that it comes with. So once it's burnt out, I feel like it's going to be a nice decorative homeware piece because also this is oh my god it's so heavy how nice is this color as well tom's bedroom tom's top floor room with these forest green accents in fact i might even just should i put this candle up there i kind of want to enjoy the pine scent from Soho house myself so maybe downstairs i'll put it till it's burnt out or i could even just pop the marble straight up in his room and just have this it's just plain just burning downstairs Oh, it smells so good. So that's the added benefit is obviously you're not going to have to like remove all the wax with it and everything. So it's basically a home decor piece and a candle in one. And it retails for £160. I got it for £49.99. Still pricey, but if you know me and you know my methods for TK Maxx, it is a number two label, which is a good one. So in fact, quite a few of these number two labels that I got today. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch the How Do They Do It Channel 5 documentary in all about like TK Maxx. They did one, um, was it Primark as well? Um, but yeah, so it's worth a watch, especially if you're a TK Maxx shopper. Um, anyway, I've got these. These were a checkout purchase that I saw and grabbed because I loved the colours and the fact that they come in four different shapes. I am a clip wearer every single day i have a clip in my hair most often than not when i'm filming i don't otherwise i just throw it up and i find by not wearing too many scrunchies it helps with the condition of my hair so i just tend to like shimmy it up into like something some kind of form on the top of my head and like put the clip there so it just kind of looks like a bit of a messy bun but with a clip rather than a bobble because that tends to like then pull my hair. So anyway, every single day I wear these. I thought these ones were nice and something a bit different for me. So $5.99 they were. Next up, I got a couple of beauty purchases. I very rarely get beauty purchases from TK Maxx. However, these two caught my eye. They're both number twos as well, which if you know, number twos. Um, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury and TK Maxx. Never seen that before. At least I don't think I have. Anyway, this retails for £38. I got it in the clearance for 15 The only thing I'm conscious of when I get stuff from TK Maxx or HomeSense and it's clearance, 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 is how old is this product? So if you happen to know the codes of products and they're... Oh, do you know what it is? I reckon this is a fault because this, can you see, there's been a sticker put on top of what was classed as the dream bronze mask maybe they've changed the name of it 
They put a sticker on it and sent it over to TK Maxx. It sounded interesting nonetheless. You apply a thin layer onto freshly cleansed skin, gently blending into the hairline. Neck and decolletage build your dream glow over one to three nights to the intensity of your desired tan. Wash hands after use. It's got built-in tan in it. I also got this from Huxley. Now Huxley is a lovely brand. I'm obsessed with the branding that Huxley have. It's just so minimal and clean and I love it. So they've got this hand cream called velvet touch this is a 30 mil so good for travel good for throwing in your bag again a number two it says it retails for 12 pounds and their price was 7.99 see what i mean by minimal clean branding and packaging it's just so so nice and again a good little size to throw in your handbag should we give it a sniff it's called secret It's called um, Secret of Sahara. Oh, I'm gonna have a bit too much here. Mm. I'm not blown away. I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me thinking how long has it been in TK Maxx for? And this is why I don't tend to buy things from TK Maxx in the beauty section. It's not bad, it doesn't smell off, it just doesn't smell. It smells weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's just move on, shall we? So I picked up another one of these. I have had one in the past, and I actually got this exact one, but from Dunelm. Now, this one was £2.20. I can't remember the price I paid for it in Dunelm, but um, £2.20. Please, someone tell me. I can't seem to see at least in Dunelm, but maybe I can elsewhere get a re replacement sponge. Because if I'm going to have to purchase one of these each time I need to change it up, then it kind of doesn't make it as eco-friendly and as practical. But anyway, let me know if you can get reusable um, or interchangeable tops for that. <laughs> I love the Raydon products that they have in TK Maxx and they now do pet bandanas. There were loads of different colours, styles. 9 99 again a number two. Oh no, I've just realised this is a small to medium neck size. These might be a bit too small for Barney. Well, I'll try them anyway. If not, I can take it back. But this first one is good boy. And then the one underneath is just lots of different dogs and whoops. So cute, way too cute. And had to pick it up. I also got this. This is in the clearance and I picked it up for actually inside our cupboards. We've got sugar that just ends up spilling everywhere. And I thought I'll decant it into this and just pop it back in the cupboard where it already is. So it's the, ori the original Amazing Cash cane collection sugar jar and this retails for £14.50 with it be, being Mason Cash. Mason Cash. Why do I say Mason? Mason Cash. Um, £14.50 but yeah I got it in the clearance for £2.50. Mega bag. Last few items are all books. All from the book section. I got myself another one of these. I've had one before but not this one and it's the mindfulness puzzle book. Just a good like little evening activity or switch off time for me is to do a little puzzle like this. I like taking these when I'm traveling. It's just a bit of me. Retails for £7.99. I got it for £3.29. And then two more books. This one was um, nice and minimal again. I thought it would be nice in our kitchen. Retails for £25. It was £6.99. And it's just got lots of different home cooked recipes from Thomasina Myers. 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 Oh my god, how good does that look? Mexican style pieces. Sounds delish. Um, anyway, moving on. The last book that I got again for Future Kitchen is this. Now, I've seen this on Zara Home. It retails for 60 Okay. So it says £35 on here, on the back, but I'm pretty sure this on Zara is more than £35. I'm pretty sure it's 50 something. Either way, I didn't pay £35 for it. I paid £19.99. Home Farm Cooking by Catherine and John Pawson. And again, it's just got lots of almost inspo for our outdoor kitchen as well. Anyway, that was my little unboxing. I'm going to have a bit of editing time bit of um organization and then i'm going to share with you some monthly favorites okay it's nearing the end of the day now and i feel like it is time to share with you some monthly favorites where's my phone i've got a bit of a list going put it in our spare bedroom for a bit of a change so 
should we categorize these or should we just jump straight in? Let's just jump straight in. Okay, so the first thing I was gonna share with you and mention is this. Now this is from Zara Home. As you can see, I have got through it. I have had it this for a while actually. It's a room spray or a home spray they call it. Again from Zara Home in the scent Royal Garden. So I have had this for a while and just kind of had it as a bit of a display thing, kind of the odd spray here and there. However, these last couple of weeks, I pretty much use this every day and it smells so strong. It is lovely. If you like that kind of herby garden smell, then hopefully this is still in stock and I can leave it linked below. It's like a real satisfying, powerful spray. Anyway, it's gonna smell lovely in here now. So that's the first, oh yeah, I can smell it. That's the first thing that I wanted to mention. Then I've also got this from Way recently. And to be honest with you, it's still fairly full. So well, in fact, very full. This is a scalp serum. At first I was a bit skeptical because you can put this on freshly washed hair. It's not a case of you put it on when your hair needs a wash. It's actually a leave-in treatment for the scalp. Now I'm a bit skeptical, other than dry shampoo, I don't really put anything on my scalp because I want to avoid it getting greasy or anything. I put it on like day two hair, day three hair, and it's not even on the hair, it's on the scalp. Or like if I'm going for a run that day or whatever, I'll just soak my scalp in this serum the night before. And um, it just dries really well. I was a bit dubious of that, but I'm, I'm impressed with it. So I've only used it a few times, but so far so good i feel like i need to stop banging on about this because the white company sea salt scent is by far a fave of mine it smells really nice and masculine abercrombie fitch fierce cologne i have talked about this a lot so i'm not going to talk about it too much however if you get to try it try it this is the fragrance oil. i feel like the most benefit you'll get is either in a candle or the fragrance oil if you've got an oil diffuser the next item i wanted to mention i got these samples when did i get these oh it was that when i went to cheshire oaks ages ago they're from all saints they are from their like well from the till they've just got these little sample um fragrance things so yeah leather skies and concrete rain i've had them sat on this little basket for like my guest hamper and I thought when I went when we went to Italy, so I suppose this should have been in last month's monthly moments, but I didn't actually do one last month, so that's why I'm including it this time. Um, when I went to Italy, we had hand luggage. I thought, you know what, rather than take a big perfume, I'm just going to take a couple of these samples for every evening. This one's lovely. This one, Leather Skies, OMG, smells incredible. If I didn't have as many perfumes as I did because I do I've got a drawer full of perfumes so I definitely don't need any more oh, but fragrance is one of those things that you kind of associate it with an emotion or a place or a memory and for me leather skies will be Lake Como scent so I'm very tempted to pick up the full size one speaking of smelling incredible I've got a couple more products here some spray cans so this first one I picked up from Wilco's not too long ago. If you're a dog owner, especially like a golden retriever, long-coated dog owner, this is brilliant. He's a little bit skeptical when I spray it on him because of the spray noise, but he doesn't like hair dryers either, so it's kind of like a similar, it's that loud noise that he's a bit spooked by. But if I hold his ears and spritz it on him, on his coat, it really is like a dry shampoo for, for your dog. So yeah, I've been loving that in between having him groomed or bathed and brushed because you don't bath them that often but he's a swimmer so you know that's been brilliant for us um, and then also this I've kept this downstairs by our like shoe area where we like have all of our shoes at the minute it's a bit of a dust cloud a bit messy down there but um for popping this right by where your shoes are is brilliant because you can just spritz it you can actually spray this directly on your feet into your shoes I just kind of spritz it around the shoes when I'm doing a bit of a clean and a hoover and stuff and it just it's really nice. And yeah, it feels very refreshing if you do spray it on your feet. Um, a couple of drink things that I wanted to mention. Firstly, Starbucks. The oat... Oh gosh, I never know how to say it. Iced oat shake and espresso, whatever it's called, that I have vlogged me getting before. What's it called? Oat shake and iced espresso. Brown sugar espresso. There's a brown sugar in there as well. You'll see it if you go to a Starbucks. <laughs> have it. I had a mixed reviews on it. I love it. For me, it's like the summer equivalent to a pumpkin spice latte. Speaking of pumpkin spice, 
I think it was the other day seeing the Halloween bits in Home Bargain in Home Sense and TK Maxx that just got me feeling a little, just a little in the autumn mood. On those drizzly wet and rainy days where we don't even feel like it's summer and I'm still in like hoodie, joggers, cosy socks watching Stranger Things on TV. I had a coffee with a bit of this pumpkin spice um, syrup in it. And yeah, it just... Woo! Also, air up. I talk about my air up bottle a lot. I ugh, I just honestly don't know what I'd do without it now, just as a water bottle alone. However, it's one of these water bottles that you have these scented pods on that make you feel like you're drinking flavoured water. I love it. Talk about it all the time. However, this new fragrance... Fragrance? Well, I guess it is fragrance. I was going to say flavour, but it isn't flavour because you just drink water. But a new scented pod that they brought out, the Yuzu Rosemary, I love. If you like the citrus and the herb, and if you've already got one and you like the basil and lemon one, you're going to love that. I've got a couple of fashion-y bits to share with you. Firstly, well, in fact, first let me show you these Birkenstocks that I've been living in. They look well-worn, I know, but this is just such a good natural kind of colour. Leave them linked below. But they're a nice kind of like khaki. They're like my antelope coloured ugg ultra minis that i've got but like the summer version so yeah i've been living in them i've also been living in this short suit which is um so nice they've still got the shorts online this is from MS, just like high-waisted thick banded um pair of linen shorts i can't seem to find the blazer online so unless it comes back in stock by the time you're watching this I'll leave it linked. If not, I got mine in store. It's got the ruched sleeves. That's the only thing. I kind of wish it didn't have ruched sleeves. Um, but yeah, the blazer and the short little combo. Whenever I have worn it, I've got complimented on it. So, and it's so comfy. I tend to just wear it with like a basic tee and some trainers, like my Fasia trainers or something, or Birkenstocks and a bodysuit if it's warm. And then the other thing that I just wanted to add to that is like linen shirts as well I've been living in. So I've got this one from Primark in this beautiful stone colour, which is like more their premium range. I think it was about £18. And then men's M&S linen shirts, worth checking out as well. I did get this one in the sale. It's pure linen. I got this one at 15 quid, um, 3XL. So, you know, I size up in them that's men's as well because i wore that all the time when we were sunbathing in lake como so it's a nice alternative you can go and dress it up you can also like i do just have it as like a beach cover-up so yeah been loving them linen shirts um and then the last few things i guess i wanted to mention was maybe things that i've seen on tv things that i've been watching um what have i got here okay hands down best film i've seen in a very long time top gun maverick it was insane we loved it there's a little bit of american cheese in there which i'm not too fussed for but honestly it was such a good feel good film we did go and watch it at the cinema in 4d so you have the whole like motion experience and everything i feel like that whole experience can be a little bit distracting having said that of all the movies that i would want to watch in 4d it would have been top gun maverick so i'm not regretting that we'd seen it in 4d but i don't think you need to see it in 4d then again having said that by the end of it i loved the fact that we went to see it in 4d so anyway top gun maverick either way you need to see it um i've also been into love island i've been hooked it's getting good let me know who your favourites are if you're watching it. We've also been watching Stranger Things. So we we went right back to the start. And when the new season four came out, part one, we were like, right, instead of just watching the new season, let's refresh our memories. It's been a while since that first Stranger Things came out. So we went back and rewatched all of the episodes to the point where we had pretty much have just caught up with um, the season four part one so now that they've just brought out the part two which is like perfect time and we're now ready for do you know what i mean so um we've not really had to wait for it which has been quite good but yeah watch it from the beginning if you've never watched it it's good and then uh a youtube channel right this is a bit of a curveball here which some of you might not agree with or find a bit weird 
but I love true crime and I love there's quite a few YouTube channels that do true crime it's kind of like a story time you can just sit down like unwind chill out but then it's also like a true crime case so Eleanor Neal is a I think she's Leeds based YouTuber she does them all the time hers are really good but there's a new channel that I've just kind of been recommended through probably watching her videos that is called true 911 calls and it is just a it's an american channel but they do cover like uk cases australian cases worldwide cases basically english speaking that are calls to 911 999 whoever and it's all um you you kind of just like the transcript and then he'll also go into detail about what happened after the call and it, i don't know it's just i find it quite gripping it's a kind of an easy watch but it's also quite a deep watch but anyway if you like true crime true 911 calls youtube channel is quite in, it's it's quite interesting i think that's it guys so yeah let me know what some of your favorites have been this this month across any sector and maybe I'll take your recommendations, try them out this month moving forward. And by the start of next month, I'll let you know what my thoughts. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Welcome to July. Hope you guys have a good one. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.